Okay, I discovered something, and we need to check it out right now. Uh, follow me here. Pull your boat about right here. Keep going, keep going. Okay, not here. I want to go a little deeper, so keep going. Keep going. One more blip. All right, right here. Right here. We're a little deeper. We're in the weeds. All right. Uh, let's cast. And I did not know about this, but this is a good thing. Check this out. See that? That's a big bass right there. And we want him. Now, he's not big, big, but he's big enough. He's big for this lake. We definitely want to catch him, because that'll definitely push us up into at least the top three at this point in the game. I haven't checked to see what our standings are right now, but we definitely want to catch that bass. Now, get ready, because these, these, this is the second tier of bass that you can catch in this game. So you got to be on your game. But I want to say this about these about this tier of fish that you can catch, I fully believe that you can catch these fish, no matter how hard it may seem. Uh, you can catch them. If, as long as you get them in on the first try, you can catch these fish. Let's get us a worm. And let's catch him. I didn't even know this place was here. Uh, the only place that I was ever able to catch the really, really big ones was back at the area that I've been showing off every now and then. But we got one here too, and this is a completely different area. So let's go for it. Now, now I won't say this is completely different. It's just this is a different action screen from say the area that we've been at. We got him. All right, work him, tire him out. He's bigger. He's gonna have more stamina, more strength. We're starting to wear him down already. He may not be real, real big, but he'll definitely be bigger than anything that we've caught so far. This is what we're looking for right here. I mean, this is this is a second tier size of of uh, bass, and we're only at the very first lake in the game. So let's get him in. He could either be a large mouth or a small mouth. He could be anywhere from six to nine pounds, or he could be if he's if he's pretty good size. It, well, he could even be it could be anywhere from six to twelve pounds. Yeah, we got a big old large mouth, eleven point six pounds. That's awesome. That is freaking awesome. These are the kind of fish that you want to catch in this lake. If you can if you can find them. I thought there was only one place that you could catch one that big, but obviously there's more. So we definitely need to be on the lookout. All right, I'm going to cut it here and we'll pick it up on the next screen. Okay, I'm back. I want to show this off real quick. Um, I'm over here near the marina. And I'm up against these buoys right here. I want to show this off. Yeah, John's dialogue is just getting old at this point. <laughs> Alrighty, looky what I found. I found a northern pike. So, I'm going to try to catch this guy so I can show him off. And I think, I think that'll be the last of the fish in this particular lake that you can catch. Because we've caught a largemouth, we caught a smallmouth, we caught a crappie, we caught a walleye. Let's catch this northern pike, and I think that'll be all. Because if you can, the way the game works is, if you can catch, if you can catch walleye and northern pike, then you can't catch a catfish. That'll be in the next lake. And if you catch a crappie, that means you can't catch a bluegill. That'll be in the next lake. So, in the next lake, I'll be able to show off a catfish and a bluegill. 
I don't want to waste that crankbait, so let's go with a natural minnow. And these guys are the are the fighters of this lake, so if you hook him, just get ready, because it's going to be a fight. They're not easy, but they're good practice, and I 100% think that if you hook one, you can catch him. It, there's no there's no doubt about it. You can catch him if you hook him. All right, we got it. May not be that big. I hope I catch a big one, but Northern Pike, I've actually never caught a Northern Pike in real life. You know, we're just, where I live, we're too far south. A Northern Pike is different from a muskie. They're very similar, but they are different. They're a different, they're a different fish altogether. And I've never caught a muskie or a Northern Pike. I've heard that uh, a muskie all right, we, yeah, we caught a pretty big one, 21.4 pounds, that's big. <laughs> I wish that was a bass. If that was a bass, we'd have this lake wrapped up right now. It's huge, it could be a lake record. <laughs> yeah, I think that that fish probably broke the unofficial record. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But anyway, as I was saying earlier, I've never actually caught a muskie or a northern pike, but I would love to fish for one of those, or for either of those one of these days. Um, Alright, let me show off one more thing. Since I'm here. Alright, this same spot that I've been coming back to, I actually came back here earlier and I caught a pretty good size uh, small enough bass. Let me show it off. It's starting to rain now. Alright. Uh, he's, he's number two. He, he's big, but he's not number one. He's number two, but that's okay. Alright. I caught a big old smallmouth. Look at there. That's cool. 10.6 pounds. Open water at Grand Valley Lake. Caught him on a plastic worm. Pretty cool. So that pushes us up to. Wait a minute. Let me get out of this. I'm going to show something real quick. There's the largemouth that I caught earlier. Okay, we're at. 1300 hours. All right, our total weight is 37.8 pounds. Now, I, I fully believe 100% that we could go to the marina right now with what we have in the boat and we could win it easily. But I want to try to catch a few more fish and just use whatever time I have left in this tournament. And I'm going to try to get as high of an estimated total as part of, well, total weight as possible. I, want to, I think that weight right there would actually break the lake, the lake record. I want to break it as much as I possibly can. But anyway, if you look, right now estimated total weight 37.8 pounds. One more thing I want to show off. You can go here to info. Here's the latest event update. It says we're ranked number one, but we're only at 30.8 pounds, and that's because you only report back at 30 past the hour for every, you know, in increments of each hour. So the next, we'll report again at 1.30, and 
it's actually only a little past one o'clock right now. So uh, we've only reported 30.8 pounds, when actually, when actuality, we're at 37.8. But we're still in first place by a good 10 pounds. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to catch some more fish, and I'm going to get ready to weigh in, and the next time that I come back, will either be something else I want to show off, or we'll, or we'll be ready to weigh in. So, uh, stay tuned, I want to come. Alright, real quick, I uh, found another spot that has a pretty good sized bass, so let's try to catch him. As you can see, I'm just to the east of the big weed bed, right in the middle of the lake. I found some deep water weeds. We'll roll with the jigging port. That'd be good enough. And there he is. So let's catch this guy. He's a big one. Because I want to shatter that lake record. Well, not very big. Well, 9.2. That's not bad. Alright, he's ranked number three right now. Okay, I did, if you'll notice, uh, that number four is 7.8 pounds. I did manage to catch another pretty good size uh, largemouth bass here. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, I may either, I'm gonna, I've got another hour, but you gotta be careful. You gotta make sure you make it to the marina in time to weigh in so you don't get a penalty. So I think I'll, I think I'll look around a little bit more and see if I can find just one more big bass to catch on this lake. If not, then I'll pick it up at the marina. Okay, I'm back. And just real quick, I wanted to show something real quick. Uh, I want to go back and uh, look and see what the official uh, uh, record was for the Green Valley Lake. <clears throat> Alright, stage one. This was the record, 32.14 pounds. Uh, biggest fish is 11.78, pretty good size largemouth. The rest of them are relatively small though. So, uh, as it stands right now, I'm uh, currently, I'm about. I've got a game. I've got the game saved right now. Currently, I'm about oh 20 minutes from the end of the tournament, but I'm right at the marina, and uh, I don't think there's any more big bass to be caught. There's just not. There's not enough time. So uh, I'm gonna pick it back up at the marina. Okay, I'm back here at the marina, and it is officially time to weigh in. Uh, let's let's check what I got. Uh, I think it's the same as what we saw a while ago, though. Uh, Alright. Unofficially, I've got an 11.6 pound largemouth, a 10.6 pound smallmouth, 
a 9.2, a 7.8, and a 6.0 pound largemouth bass. For an unofficial weight of 45.2, I should shatter the lake record after this is over, hopefully. Now, I probably could have done better, but uh, it's just kind of a luck of the draw. You go round and round, you try to catch the biggest fish you can, and again, they're, well, I used to think there was only one place that you could catch fish this big, but apparently there's actually two or three. So you just kind of have to, you know, every, in 30 minute increments, you have to revisit those spots and then hope that the fish that's there will still bite. Because chances are, if you've caught a big fish there, then 30 minutes later you go back, that fish is probably not going to bite. So, the, but, in any case, this is still a really good weight, 45.2. I mean, that's awesome. We're gonna we're gonna get first place and we're gonna shatter the lake record. So we couldn't ask for much more. So let's do it. Let's weigh these babies in. We got we've got till 16:30 and it's 16:11 right now. So weigh in, yes. Let's do it. The tournament is over. Weigh in. of the day. <laughs> Currently in first place is Mary Donovan with an official weight of 22.54 pounds. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we'll beat her. <laughs> it's a big largemouth. The weight is... one of the few of the, of the four lakes this will be the one where we'll definitely shatter the competition the next three yeah not so much now you could potentially shatter the competition on all four lakes but it's just much easier to do it here because you have that 
ability to fish in those certain spots and actually catch bigger fish than you're supposed to. The winner is Cole. These three can enter the next round. Congratulations, give them a hand. I should have picked somebody else. The character's hair is a little too dark. Placed first at the local amateur tournament. You can enter the amateur bass championship. How was it? Did my advice help you? It was easy, wasn't it? Keep up the good work next time. Okay, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is cut the video right here, because I think if I push the button again that it's going to go ahead and start me at the next uh, tournament, and I'll save that, so, well, you know what, right, let's, let's save your record, yes, yeah, we'll go ahead and show off the next one. Okay, appreciate everybody watching. I uh, hope everybody's enjoying it so far because, man, I love this game. And I hope y'all love it too after we get done with this L LP. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next video. Later.